morning, dear learners. Good morning, my dear parents. How are you? Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Teacher Fred and currently teaching at Hayubo National High School. If you are new in my channel, do not forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so that you will be updated with my future tutorials and videos. Learning at home through printed modules is far different when you are in school, right? That is why I made this video to guide you in some of the lessons in Science 7 and in Science 8. But before we proceed to our main topic, let me ask you this question. Are you ready and excited to learn? If that is a yes, <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on, let's go. Could you be the one? Scientific investigation is a procedure consisting of a series of steps with the goal of problem solving and information gathering. Scientific investigation is like a ladder, staircase, mobile game. What are the series of steps in a scientific method? Number one is identifying problem or asking a question. This means that you develop a question or problem that can be solved through experimentation. Example, Janelle wonders if the amount of sugar used in the recipe will affect the size of the bread. The second step is observation about the problem. Data are gathered through the use of five senses and collecting information about a problem or question. Janelle researches the areas of baking and fermentation and tries to come up with a way to test his question or problem. Our third step is development of a hypothesis. This is an educated or scientific guess made according to the background information that has been gathered. Your hypothesis should answer your question and must be testable. Let's take this example. After conducting a research and talking to his teacher, he comes up with a hypothesis. He said, if more sugar is added, then the bread will rise higher. Do you also have the same hypothesis with Janelle? Our fourth step is to design an experiment to test the hypothesis. This means that designing an experiment whose results will either support or disprove the hypothesis. If the hypothesis is supported with the results of the experiment, then the hypothesis is also correct. For example, because his grandmother always used 50 grams of sugar in her recipe, Janelle is going to use that amount as his control group. Janelle's teacher reminds him to keep all other ingredients the same so that any observed changes in the bread can be attributed to the variation in the amount of sugar. The fifth step is to analyze the result. This means modify the procedure if needed. Data must be organized. Confirm the result by retesting. Use tables, graphs, and photographs. Any piece of information that you collect regarding the experiment are called data. For example, Janelle comes up with a table he can use to record his data and analyze them. He is accurate in collecting the data. The sixth step is to draw a conclusion. 
it means to include a statement that accepts or rejects the hypothesis. You can now make recommendations for further study and possible improvements to the procedure. For example, Junelle finds that 70 grams of sugar or adding more sugar produces the largest loaf. His hypothesis is accepted. And the last step is to communicate the result. There is a need to communicate or share the result of the scientific investigation, especially in the presence of the experts, to verify the validity of the result. Example, Janelle tells his grandmother about his findings and prepares to present his project in a science class. Review time! To help you learners remember the steps in a scientific method with ease, try to memorize these mnemonics. Q R H E A C R. Let's do it again. Q R H E A C R. Perfect. Now, let's put that in a sentence. Queen Ruby hides emerald after Celestine runs. Let's do that again. Queen Ruby hides emerald after Celestine runs. Yay! Perfect! You are truly amazing! And now, try to answer these questions silently. You are given 15 seconds to answer each question.
Bye.